This is the essential skill stack you need to be a master of advertising for your business, for your clients, for anything you ever work on in advertising. Hi, I'm Michael Nadalin from Market Lead, and today's video is about the key skills or the skill stack that I think is essential for every single advertiser or business owner to have success with paid advertising now and in the future. Google Advertising, which I originally started off with, brought me a lot of success in my career, in my wealth, and just overall in life. But I started to notice there were other skills that I either naturally had or I proactively worked on that brought that to a significantly higher level. Now, a lot of skills, when you work on them, it's pretty much like a one plus one equals two game. These skills, it's pretty much one plus one equals five, and adding another one adds to 10. These really do add on each other really significantly. A lot of people look at their skills and go, I'm good at finance and then I'm good at creative writing and they're not really related and then they think they can add it together and that is awesome. But this video is about really specific practical skills that when you use these will have significant improvement on everything you do in paid advertising now and forever. So let's start off with them. These skills are so important that I know that if you master them, you'll be one of the best advertisers in the world. Very few people have this skill set and very few people get outstanding results because they just don't master all these things. So let's start off with number one. Obviously, I'll start off with Google Ads. This is the most important advertising skill I think to have. It makes you really understand user psychology, analytics, and data overall. It really teaches you to make sure that if you can make this work, you really understand on how to get leads and understand how to get sales. Google Ads is so high intent, you're pretty much cherry picking in the market. So you really need to make sure that you're really good at Google Ads to start off with. And even if you're a business owner who is just looking at this video for your own advertising, always start with Google Ads. That's the lowest hanging fruit, the highest buying intent. It is really, really, really hard to get good at Google Ads. It's very simple, but it's really hard. Every day I'm learning something new and it's actually things beyond the account within the business that actually make me reflect and get better within the account as well. So mastering Google Ads is number one. So that's pretty obvious, it's an advertising channel. Number two is Facebook Ads, quite obvious as well. That's the second biggest advertising platform or meta ads or Instagram ads, however you wanna say it. But that is the second biggest skill. There are so many benefits. The algorithms and the AIs within Facebook ads, meta ads, Instagram ads are so powerful that if you just master that and get good at itself, even that skill by itself brings so much revenue and leads and sales to businesses. I could speak about that separately, but I won't. But that is the second skill that if you had that in your arsenal, even just Google ads and Facebook ads, you were significantly ahead of many advertisers and realistically many businesses because they do work holistically and do work together. It's not Google ads versus Facebook ads, it's Google ads and Facebook ads. You really need to understand them both, but really get good at them both. All of these ideas, once again, are based on practical skills, not theories, not strategy, implementation. It's really implementation, practical skills. You only know something when you do it. A lot of business owners, a lot of agency owners talk about all these strategies that actually never work because they're just talking about ideas that they heard about online or someone in their team spoke about one client and a very small data size or a very small sample size. You only know it works by doing it yourself. That's why these skills are important to master. Number three, Google Tag Manager. This is so important because no matter what you do on any advertising platform or anything anywhere else on the website, you need to track it. Google Tag Manager is basically the ability to implement codes, scripts, tagging, tracking. If you cannot track it and tag it, you can't measure it. It means you can't even optimize and fix anything. So Google Tag Manager is a really, really simple skill. It seems quite overwhelming for a lot of people when they started. When I started, it was overwhelming purely just based on ignorance because I didn't sit down and do it. It is really simple. You get your base codes, you put it to all pages. You get your conversion tracking and you set up a conversion trigger. It is really simple. Most people are not good at it. Once people get over that hurdle, it might take a few months to actually get the psychology right around it. You significantly change the game. You don't need developers anymore. You don't need to rely on anyone else. You can test things really fast and easily. And there are so many other benefits that come with it as well. The next one is Google Sheets, which blends into another area of like analytics and data analysis. 
Google Sheets, and the reason why I say Google Sheets rather than Excel, it's really about using the Google Sheets platform, which is really powerful to use formulas and synthesize, manipulate, and analyze data. You can do all the best advertising, you can do all the best tagging, but you need to analyze data, report on data, communicate data to the client at the end of the day. Google Sheets is the best platform I've ever seen for any data reporting and actually to build any tools for advertising ever. This is an area that I've spent nearly 10 years mastering and I don't even think I've mastered it yet. I actually think I'm probably 20% of my potential. It is probably the ultimate business skill that I've ever seen. Anyone I've ever seen who knows Google Sheets or Excel really well easily makes hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in any job what they do. I really think that everyone should master Google Sheets or Excel no matter what business, no matter what industry ever in the universe. It teaches you to think differently. It teaches you to be analytical. It teaches you to take raw data, look at it, synthesize it, and push it into a new stage, recommendations, strategies, and insights. So many people live and die by just what they see on the computer screen and don't actually take the next step of analyzing, critically thinking, and doing something about it as well. So Google Sheets is the next skill stack after that that is so important. The next one after this is conversion rate optimization. So we've spoken about the ads, but it's about getting the traffic to the website or the landing page. We've got the tracking set up, so we've got to make sure that we know how to do that through Google Tag Manager. Next is looking at the data with Google Sheets, manipulating the data, building dashboards. But the next one is conversion rate optimization. So conversion rate optimization is such a powerful skill set and skill stack that it helps you when you do get traffic to a website. Why is it converting? Why is it not converting? What do we recommend next? So it's really easy and simple to get good at conversion rate optimization because there are very, very few and simple ways to actually review a website. I've done videos on it. It's more about the elements than designs. So you can literally create checklists and just make sure that, hey, do we have this element on the website? Does it have a headline? Does it have a call to action? Does it have an offer? Does it have all of these things that we need? Yes or no? It is really simple that the conversion rate optimization, you could literally just put that on a one page document and just go through that and be an expert. Most people do undervalue that and most people would think, oh, there's someone else who's better than it. There isn't, there's you. There's just critical thinking, there's going through the elements. Does the website have these elements? If it does, awesome and there's problems, you move on from it and you get real expertise. But if it doesn't, these are the easiest things you can do. So many people try to bypass the work because they don't think they're an expert onto someone else. But realistically, all of these things, you could put all of these skills on one sheet each and then just implement it yourself. So with conversion rate optimization, such a powerful tool. It's probably on the mid tier compared to the other ones, but once you get this as well, you can take your skill to a significant next level and it really does add to the skill stack. The next one after this is data analysis. So going back to the Google Sheets one, that's more of the skill, but the mindset and the skill set of data analysis is so vital. So many people in life just review what they see on a screen and just, just think that's what it is. Data analysis literally gives you the ability to logically think critically think and use common sense to analyze data to see what is the story, what is the themes, what are the patterns we're seeing? And then from there, we move to the next stage, which is the recommendations, the insights, the next steps. Because ultimately, whatever you do requires data analysis in any area of life. Any area of life requires analysis. The beautiful thing about advertising is you actually get the data to match up with the story that you either want it to be or you don't want it to be as well. The last two are gonna blend in together. The first one of it is problem solving slash solutions execution, which is quite simple. You've gotta be able to identify problems. That the biggest issue most people have is they don't actually know how to clearly define what the problem is. They're big ideas, something's not working. They don't have processes that can actually allow them to drill down to what the specific problem is. Once you actually know what the specific problem is, there's probably like two or three solutions that you need to execute on. It's actually not that hard. Most people with their problems with their accounts, the biggest problem is they don't actually know how to clearly define the problem. It's not the problem, it's the lack of clearly defining it. Because once you define the problem, most of the time, it is one, two, or three simple solutions you need to execute on, which is the second part of this part, which is solutions execution. You can come up with all these ideas, but you need to ultimately execute on solutions that you come up with for problems. That's a big skill set. 
Most people I know do not know how to clearly define a problem. And then even when they do, they don't even execute on the solutions they come up with. By doing that, you become in the top 1% of anything ever in the universe, problem identification and executing on solutions. Now, the last one ultimately is if you run a business or you're a specialist or a consultant, is the consulting piece, which is ultimately communication slash consulting. It's so important to make sure that when you look at all this data and do all these things, you actually clearly define, you clearly communicate to all stakeholders. At the end of the day, business is humans to humans and you can do all these amazing things, but if you're not communicating it, you're not consulting on it, you're not sharing these ideas, sharing solutions, nothing's gonna work because you're gonna get caught at a brick wall really fast based on people's egos, people's lack of knowledge, just because you haven't communicated. So I'm gonna leave it there. This was a bit of a longer video. When I look at this list that I've literally put up in front of me, there's a few points there, but I didn't think I was gonna be chatting for this long. So I really hope you got value out of this. I wish someone told me this when I started off my career, I would have got where I am right now, maybe five years faster if I practically worked practically on these skills because these things just do work. You could argue with me all day long of what else I could add to this list, but I can guarantee you wouldn't take anything away from this list because these are the core skills or the core skill stack to become a master advertiser or a master business owner anywhere in the world throughout history. So I'll leave it there. If you got any questions, please let me know, but remember like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share.